What's the truth about rising interest rates? Welcome to your Money Monday. Welcome to Money Monday, session 331, brought to you by the Mott's team with Cutler Real Estate. Rising interest rates, everyone's talking about it, everyone thinks the sky is falling. Well, let's calm down and look at the facts. Mortgage rates for the six consecutive weeks have gone up. Now it's been seven weeks, honestly, and they've more than doubled this year. So you would think that'd be a huge concern, but let's look at the historic facts. So buyer's purchasing power right now. Yes, the longer you wait and the more rates go up, you can see the more you will actually lose in purchasing power. When we're at 6%, you can see you get a $440,000 home for like $2,600, $2,700. Then when you get six and a half and six and three fourths, it goes down to $420,000 buying power. Then when you get seven to seven and a quarter, you go down to 400,000. Then when you get seven and a half, you get like $380,000. So that is a little bit alarming, but let's keep looking at the facts folks. Cost across time. I mean, look at the 70s, 8.86%. The 80s, 12.7%. The 90s, 8.12%. The 2000s, 6.29%. Today, often getting into the sevens here. You know, you might see people quoting rates in the sixes still, but honestly, most people with their credit scores and other factors mixed in there, they're gonna be at seven and a quarter percent or so right now. So in the low sevens. So that'd be about $1,705 a month. And look at the other costs across time, really, except for the 2000s, 7.25 is a great rate. Okay, let's look at the difference. So if you spend $1,000 a month, let's look at the difference your interest rate actually makes across time here real quick too. So if you your principal and interest to be 1,000 a month, I've shown this chart lots of times. In 85, the rate was 12.17% and you can afford a $95,750 $750,000 house, okay? In 2000, the rate was 8.12%. You could buy a $134,500 home for under $1,000. Now, at 7.25% for under $1,000, you get a $146,500 home. So let's take a look at that perspective once. Now, I've talked about this before. You marry the price, you date the rate, okay? So in other words, sure, when you buy a home, you marry that price, but you just date the rate. And we're gonna talk about our great friends at Cross Country, the Shackleford Division. You can buy your dream home now and actually refinance at no cost later. And the feds are talking about rates going back into the fours here. So don't panic, call us your trusted advisors and we can walk you through what is best to do. So imagine refinancing at no cost later, buying a home now, refinancing at no cost later, don't worry, we got you covered, okay? And if you're interested in buying this fall, go to our latest guide, buywithmods.com. And if you're interested in selling, go to our latest fall guide, sellwithmods.com, and boom, you will get those emailed to you right away. Great information to get you through this uh, changing market. And if you need an appointment for the value of your home, if you just want a real quick value of your home, go to yourincreasedvalue.com, yourincreasedhomevalue.com, to get your value of your home emailed to you immediately, or if you'd like a personal appointment or actually a virtual appointment. Still, people are doing that. Uh, you can contact Teresa Lawson, myself, Heather McCarthy, or Dr. J, okay? Thank you so much, we'll see you real soon.